All right, here's a little update. I uh, picked up a piece of lumber today that I needed. That stupid thing. These eight footers, which I had to cut a bit off. As you can see, I screwed up on my measurements and I had to start over. That's thanks to the stroke. I, uh, I paid $36 for each one of these. And that top one, which is a 10 footer, paid 42. So here it is now. That don't go to the ground because, as you can see, I don't have a cement floor on here. I'm just uh, making it floating like everything else is. And I left myself a space because I'm uh, putting cement blocks like that one over there. I think they're like four or five inches. I'm going to load them up and I'll do the whole floor. Kind of like what I have here. Well, what I got here goes all the way inside just like that. That whole wall is supporting on there. And I, I got plenty. I'm going to take them out of in there. See, they're like this. And I'm going to do this whole floor. But first I've got to keep adding dirt. Because I, I don't want this to flood in any way. Besides, uh, any of my good stuff is going to be up on pallets or something. And I'm going to make shelves. Well, that's what it is. I just finished putting up this wall and uh, measured for my door. Everything's supposed to fit. And it's all uh, level. And I put all those little pieces there. When you're close to the edge like that with the screws, you got to drill or else it'll crack. Now, this is all the stripping. I'm going to need to finish off is over here on this side. I'm uh, I'm installing that little window here, which is really cute. If I don't have the proper screen, I got this one here that I'll. It's it's actually as big as the whole frame, so I might I might stick it, you know, with a glue gun on the inside or something. Well, what I just showed you, that's the outside here. Uh, and uh, I got a nice overhang, but I got to cut two pieces here that are sticking out too much. And I did all the stripping, you know, for around the door, around that. I got a little window back there. I just put the window, so that's actually a bathroom window. It's that frosted glass. I just put that up there so I could have a bit more light in here. And I already have the neons and the door for that over there. It's pretty hard when you're all alone, you know, getting everything up there. It's nice when you have somebody to hold one end while you're screwing the other. Which, by the way, this is all screws, not one nail. Now, some people say, well, that's no good because nails will bend, screws will break. And that's true. But that thing right there, that's all screws not one nail and so far it never moved never anything happened and i load up my firewood in there sometimes i got like two tons yeah <sighs> i am so tired it's about 7 seven thirty. i was over at my son's earlier today you know just a little visit and then i hurried back to come here usually this would be my scrapping day but as much as i need the money I need to get this thing done. So now, when I put the stripping on that little section of wall and put the window in, then I'll be ready to put the tin which I have laying over there. And I got some more on the other side, but that's the roofing tin that I'm going to paint brown. And uh, notice I have one. Let's see, one ladder, two ladders, three ladders. I got another little piece. Oh, it's over here. So that's one, two, three, four. And this is five. There's two sections, but that's one of those uh, extendable ladders. 
So I got five ladders here for one job with one man. There's different ones, different heights, because as you can see, the land isn't uh, level over there, and the taller, longer ones, I just, you know, was too much. I didn't want to put all my weight on the top piece when it wasn't secured yet, and so on and so forth. And I was actually supposed to work from up there, but I changed my mind because of the wasp nest that I got. And my door, well, I can't open it now. I put a screw in it. I didn't want the uh, wind to knock it open. Now I gotta buy myself a locking doorknob. But everything is nice and straight. And uh, that's what's called a French drain. It's a pipe with a whole bunch of slots in it. So it lets the water come in. Like as you can see here, I'm gonna dig a bit more, shove it down there with stone. And the water, the runoff, will go in the pipe and run down to the end over here. And over here, I don't know, I might put a submersible or something. I'm not sure yet. I'll, I'll figure it out when I get there. Because I don't want everything to lift and rip apart. So, that's my project. Don't you love this crap? Can't wait to be done. This is crazy. I've been on this uh, about two and a half, maybe three weeks now. And uh, so far, not a, not a hand at all. Put this whole wall up by myself and got it up on the block. Assembled it and everything. I'm just, let's just say I'm proud of myself. Because after having a stroke and my other health issues, I didn't think I'd even be able to do this, especially climbing up there, because I, I still have dizzy spells. But I got her done, and i I got to keep on going. Oh, and I drilled into that cement block, and that's secured into it, so it ain't going nowhere. Same as over there, that's all into the cement. That one over there, I didn't because it's secured to that and this wall so that ain't going to move this way I doubt but what the heck I've got the I've got the screws for the cement man I might do it I don't know and I I gotta break this apart with that fancy thing called the claw so that I could rake it all up put it even and bring more loads but I can't do much right now. My tractor's in the shop. Somebody happened to it. Then I gotta get some plastic wood and fill all this in, crack and all. And then I'm gonna paint it brown like uh, my fence is gonna be. I can't wait to get there. I can't wait to be done and be working inside, putting up my shelves and putting my tools away. Then I'll be happy. Anyway, enough of that. Bye now.